What's going on fellow air gunners? Welcome back to Air Guns Air Power. I got the uh, gun cabinet finally done as I showed in the live. And uh, I think it's pretty good, pretty cool, I like it. Um, what I may do is cut these slots out a little more and adjust them for the flash to drop down so I can get the bully in here because right now the uh, silencer on the end of the bully is hitting this on the blitz. I don't want to really take up my bottom space <clears throat> but uh, I'll get it all figured out and I have the uh, bottom cabinet on it now. I'll just tilt you guys down a little bit so you can see the bottom cabinet is on it. See so yeah, now it's up in the air. Have the lights up on it and uh, this right here is probably the spot that I'll be doing the lives in. A little bit better, cooler looking background. And uh, <clears throat> today, I'm just going to get out of here, probably just shoot a few things. I don't know which gun I'm going to take just yet, but you'll see when we get out of here. All right, let's get it done. You can see I chose the Hot Sun Bully 357 Cal to shoot this with uh as you'll see in a minute i decided to go ahead and take a shot again at this two inch coupling that if you want to watch i shot the two inch exhaust coupling it's metal with a bt65 30 cal carnivore pcp air rifle and some previous content long ago <clears throat> And I'm going to attempt to shoot it again because I've missed several times before on attempts with the 357. Now I'm at 50 yards. I would like to be much farther away shooting at metal. But this is where I have the scope kind of set at. And you see we have the safety glasses for this because I... Uh, this makes me a little nervous with such a huge caliber rifle shooting at metal objects. I do not have the coupling braced against anything, so the energy should hopefully, the weight of the bullet, once it hits the metal, it should still at least carry on and not attempt to come so far back. Hopefully. We're using the Nick Nielsen 357 diameter, 110 grain slugs. They're hollow points. They are deep base bottoms, means they're not flat. They have a little bit of a cup in them. Also, I have a coconut and a watermelon down there. Do not tell my wife I bought a coconut and a miniature watermelon, actually, to shoot. <clears throat> she doesn't really watch my videos. Hopefully, she doesn't see this one. So... <clears throat> Let me try to take a shot at this two inch coupling. Hopefully I can hit this thing. Hey, I got it, what do you know? Now we're gonna try to shoot the coconut. I forgot these slugs like to be pushed in so they don't hit the side of the breech. Hopefully we can hit that coconut just as soon as we pull the trigger like we did that couple. I think I hit in between both of those. Still going for the coconut. I think I see a chunk off of it. That is not good enough for us. It's hitting right in between them. Let me try to carry the scope to the left. Three clicks. I 
Going for the watermelon, we'll come back to the coconut. I think I glanced at a few shots. Hopefully we can get a good one on the watermelon. I think we went right in the center of the watermelon. I see a shadowy looking hole. Hopefully that is. Now I'm going back to the coconut. Good shot. I think I have one more shot to hit that watermelon again. Not sure I got it that time. There is one more round in here. The question is, can I get it in the spot it needs to be to chamber it? I did. Well, I hit that watermelon again since this is the only thing standing there. I believe I hit it. Okay. Let's go down here and take a look at this. Okay, guys, here's our watermelon. I believe that is two shots inside of there. And there is the back of it, or what's left of the back of it. a really good chunk out of that thing now here's a part of the coconut where is the rest of the coconut I have coconut all over my hands. This is what's left of the coconut. And there are some slugs I found on the ground. The coconut, when I got a good hit on it, just shattered. And here, there's your hit on a coupling. Looks like it glanced off the side of the coupling. Didn't get a solid shot on it but it bulged it out bulged it out pretty good I believe if I would have got a solid shot on that because it just grazed the side of it so I had the coupling setting this way and it just hit the side I'll try that again sometime not today and uh, hopefully we can get a better center shot on it But there <clears throat> so there's that I got watermelon and coconut on my hands I must go wipe them off before I pick up anything else now I have to wipe this camera off because I was touching it showing you guys this but that was pretty fun uh, I don't know it cost me like ten dollars in fruit to uh, shoot and have fun show you guys uh, if you will link in the description below to donate to the PayPal, if you will, to offset the cost of things that I do for you guys on the channel. And have a wonderful evening. Air Power is out.